I'm T Pain from impatientprogrammer.net. This is PySide and PyQT Q radio button in two minutes. A radio button is a button on your stereo next to your radio knob and radio flux capacitor. It changes the radio station to preset stations that your car or stereo dealer never told you how to change, and now you're sad. <laughs> okay. A radio button is a circular option button with a text label. Radio buttons usually appear grouped together in quantities of two or more. It is used when the user must select one of many options, similar to a combo box. The difference between these, though, is radio buttons are typically used when the option text is longer than two words. Radio buttons by default act as if they are part of a group when in the same widget. Common functions include clicked, the signal for when the radio button is clicked, set icon for setting the icon of the radio button, is checked to see if the button is selected, and set checked to set if the button is selected. Let's look now at a simple example. Everything is pretty much the same as previous tutorials. We add buttons right here and connect them to our print function up above, down below with the clicked.connect signal connection. And if we run it, all we get is a simple little pop-up box with little radio buttons. And that's about it. Now let's look at a more complex example. You'll find all this code on my site, impatientprogrammer.net. So before we dive into the code, let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. First, we have a vertical layout holding all of our layouts and widgets. Next, we have a horizontal layout holding radio buttons one and two next to each other. Then we have a simple push button and another separate radio button following that. Now, if I click around, notice that three deselects one and two, even though they are in different layouts. They still act together, again, because they share the same parent widget. How do we stop this? Well, you can group them under separate parent widgets. There's a few ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you the group box method. All I'm doing is replacing the code where we added the widgets and layout straight to the master vertical layout, and instead replacing them with two different group boxes, then adding the group boxes to the master layout. And here, if we run this, now we have two separate groups of radio buttons, and they act independently of each other. Excellent work, buddy. Exercises are in the description. If you would like to see a practical application built from scratch, check out my tool development series linked in the description. Thank you to all my wonderful patrons, and as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.